In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide prices until customers are logged in in your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and currently we can see all the prices as normal and we can go ahead and add a particular product to basket. So for example, if I click on this product here, we can go ahead and order as normal. But if we were to visit the same URL logged out of our site, then we won't be able to see the pricing. So I've just opened up a new tab in private mode. And currently here it's telling us that we need to log in to view the price so we can no longer see the price. And here we've got a call to action prompting us to actually log in slash register to view the price. And this is just a custom button that we've created. So when a customer clicks on it, it will redirect them to the login slash sign up page. Okay, and it's a similar thing on the shop page. So if we were to view this particular category page, so we won't be able to see any of the pricing. So here is prompting us to log in to view the price. And if we click on the product page, we'll also see the call to action button prompting us to actually log in and register. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WeCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WeSuite request the quote plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, assuming you downloaded the WeSuite request the quote plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and click activate. Once you've done so, it will automatically redirect you to this add-ons page here. Go ahead and toggle this request the quote um, module on. Okay, so now that's toggled on, we'll see this manage button here. If we don't see this manage button, we can refresh the page and then we'll see it and we'll also see the request the quote um, menu item here as well. So we can click on manage. And we're just going to create a rule to hide prices until customers are logged in okay so we'll click add new rule okay and then we'll give our rule a name so we'll say um okay so we'll say high prices for logged out users and then here where it says rule type we'll go ahead and select guest users we can also create a rule for um, registered users as well but it makes sense for this particular case that we select guest users which are all users logged out of our site okay and then we can give this a rule priority one to ten one being the highest, 10 being the lowest. So we'll go ahead and select one. Okay, so this only comes into effect when you've got a customer that matches multiple different rules. So the rule with the highest priority would trigger for that particular customer. So we'll just set it to one here. And then we want it to apply to all products, right? So we can set it for specific products. Then we'll just type in a product name here or a particular category. Okay, so for this example, we'll select all products. Okay, and then here where it says hide price, we'll go ahead and select yes. And now we've got this extra option where we can actually add a custom text where the price would normally be okay so we can say something like login to view price okay or we can leave it blank and it won't show anything okay so i'm just going to put login to view price okay so this is a great cta to get customers to actually register to your site to be able to access um your unique pricing okay and this is an excellent way as well to stop um, competitors spying on your prices okay Okay, so since we are hiding the price, it makes sense that we hide the add to cart button as well. So here where it says hide um, add to cart button, I'm going to go ahead and select replace the add to cart button with a custom button. Okay, so I'll select this option here. So instead of displaying the add to cart button, we're going to display a custom button with a call to action. Okay, so we can say something like um, login, okay, or register we can say login slash register okay and then for the custom button link we're just going to link um, customers over to our registration page or our login page okay since you're using a WooCommerce store most likely you'll have your login and sign up on the my account page so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this URL and then we'll put my dash account so we'll just hit publish okay and that's saved fine now we can actually go ahead and test this rule so before we actually do anything let's go ahead and view our shop page since i'm logged in i'll be able to see the prices and check out as normal okay so here we can view this product and we can go ahead and check out as normal now let's go ahead and view our site as a logged out customer and see if our rules working as it should 
So I've just opened up a private browser. Okay, and here you can see the price is hidden. Here it says login to view price. And then instead of displaying the add to cart button, we've got our custom button link here. So if we click on it, it'll take us directly over to our login slash um, register page, okay? And these extra navigation links is from a different video which I was doing. So in your case, you won't have this issue here, okay? So again, we'll visit the shop page. So we can see it's displaying fine on the shop page. When we view the product page, we can see that it's displaying fine also, okay? So the price is hidden and we've got our custom um, call to action button as well. Okay, so the unique thing with this particular plugin is some people recommend just hiding the price via CSS. Well, that's no good because when Google crawls your website, they'll be able to see the price, okay? And usually they'll display the price within the search results. So I personally wouldn't recommend that method. I'd either use a plugin like the WeSuite Request a Quote plugin or try a custom code something yours Self, okay instead of hiding it via CSS okay and let's navigate back over to the shop page okay and here it says select select options so when the user click on this it will take them to the product page and they can choose their options but it will still say um, log to view price I think I'll speak to our div team and when it's a variable product I think we will just Instead of showing this select option here, we'll just use our custom button directly on a shop page as well. So most likely by the time you've watched this video, we'll probably have created that change for you. And that's just a quick and easy way for you to hide prices until customers are logged in in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.